Hey guys, let's look at, uh, oh no, let's don't look at this. The, 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 just turn your head away from your computer for just a second. Don't look at this. There's a bad word at the very top here. Let's turn our eyes away. Think about something pleasant like sunshine or Chick-fil-A or mopping the floor or something like that. Okay, now you can open your eyes. Okay, so today we're talking about more about fun fractions. Okay, fun. Okay, first question is, what is a rational number? You should be making this uh, word a part of your arithmetic or an algebra vocabulary, okay? A rational means it is a ratio. The other word for a ratio is a, I'll give you a clue here. Hold on, I'm not gonna give you the answer, but. I can't tell you the whole answer, but if you connect the dots, that'll kind of give you a better clue. Yeah, okay. A rational number is a fraction, okay? So we're just piddling with fractions with x's and y's and numbers and junk today, okay? These are examples of rational expressions. You don't have to write these down. They're just, look at them. They're all fractions, right? They're all ratios, okay? I don't even know what they are, how much they're worth, uh, you know, who knows? We don't care. We're just getting used to going, look, there are some rational expressions. We mess with them and boom and so on, okay? Well, go ahead and write this next slide down. Oh, look at that, that looks so complicated. Oh, that looks so complicated. Oh man, that looks horrible. Well, you've done this before, right? Remember doing these, okay? In other words, let's go ahead and do this together, all right? We got a fraction here, we got a fraction there. In other words, a rational expression, Ooh, whatever, okay? Well, fine, all we need to do is figure out well, what is the common denominator, right? Just like, like we do regular fractions when you were a kid, Okay, well, we, we can tell that the common denominator is going to be x, y, you know, on both of those, right? So we, on this one, we go, okay, we already have the x, we need to multiply by y, which we did. Well, you multiply the bottom by y, you multiply the top by y. Okay, done. All right? So this one, you multiply the bottom by x, you multiply the top by x. So now we have, for the, for the numerator, 8y plus xb over x, y, and that's it. And that's what they say are simplified fractions because it's just one fraction now instead of two, right? You know how to do that. You've done this before. Okay, not that big of a deal. All right, now let's move it up a little bit. Oh gosh, the bad word. Wait, look, look, look to the side. Look to the side, don't look, don't look. Frivolous. We have fun fractions, we have frivolous fractions, okay. How did that word get up there? It's terrible. Okay. All right. You tell me. You don't have to write this down if you don't want to, but you can. How do you do something like this problem? Now, the top is easy, right? Okay. The top, you'd get what? One seventh plus three sevenths is four sevenths, right? No big deal. Okay. The bottom, it's going to take you a little bit longer, right? Because you're going to need to find a common denominator. Okay. What is the common denominator of four fifths and three fourths? 20, right? Okay. So we go, okay, times four here. Then over here we go times five, okay? So we have four times four, 16 over 20. Then over here we have three times five, which is 15 over 20, all right? And then we're just gonna go, okay, fine, together, that'll be 16 plus 15, which is 31 over 20, okay? So you're at this point, you tell me, what do you do when you have to, uh, mess with fractions, divide fractions that have different denominators, or you, you divide by a fraction. Okay, the answer is you, you know, multiply, you flip this one and you multiply. So that's times 20 over 31, right? Okay, so we don't even have to do this. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. But you know how to multiply tops, multiply bottom, you know, numerator, denominator, and so on. If it works for actual arithmetic and numbers like that, then it'll work for everything else. So that's, you just do the same thing. In other words, when you see something like this, you can go ahead and take a second, copy that down. All right, when you see something like this, you just do exactly the same thing you would do with a regular old bunch of numbers and fractions, okay? And let's just, what I would do is break this into two little parts and just do the numerator first, okay? So we have x over y plus one over y. Well, they have the same denominator, so just go ahead and go. That's gonna be x plus one over y, right? Done, okay? Same thing here, we've got the same denominators. So we're just gonna go, let's divide by x minus one over y. Okay, there we go. And you know what to do when you divide a fraction by a fraction, right? 
you take this fraction and you flip it and you multiply, right? Now here's the nice thing about this. Now this is our problem, in other words, right here. Okay? Well, you see that there is a Y on top and a Y on bottom, right? So, gone. I missed the whole Y. Let me try that again. I missed that Y. I'm just going to draw that Y there so it looks good. I made it. See? All right, so all you have is an X plus 1 left on top and then an X minus 1 left on bottom, and that is it. That's the answer. That's as far as you can go. Don't try to cancel out those X's. They're added or subtracted to something. You cannot remove them that way. If they're multiplied and they're multiplied, you can cancel. I'm not adding and subtracting them. Okay, let's try another one. Look at this monstrosity. Go ahead and pause it and copy that down. Okay, well again, I would let's let's mess mess with the worst thing possible here. Okay, if you just want to imagine this as one over one, we can do that. All right. So what is the common denominator when you have one over one and one over x? Well, it's going to be x, right? You got to multiply that by x and then that by x as well. Okay. So here's our new numerator: x plus one. That's x plus one all over x. Okay. And the whole thing gets divided by seven. And you know what to do? It gets divided by 7, in other words, 7 over 1. You just multiply it by 1 over 7, right? And there you go. That's it. Go right across. x plus 1 times 1 is x plus 1. x times 7, 7x. Done. Don't try to cancel the x's because this one's added to something. So just leave it just like that, and you're done. Okay, how about another one? All right, again, pause, copy. <laughs> Okay, well, it looks like the numerator is in good shape, where it looks like it looks pretty good for us the way it is. So we don't really need to do anything with that. Okay, what we're going to divide by is this mess here. So again, let's imagine this as over 1. So we can at least kind of visualize this as, a, as two fractions, okay? And let's go ahead and take this and go, well, you know, the common denominator of 1 and x is, of course, x. Okay, so multiply by the bottom, multiply by the bottom. That's what we got, all right? So this is going to stay the same, so I still have 1 over x. Now I'm going to divide by, and we can just, since those are both, you know, the denominator is x for both of those, we can just say x minus 1 over x, okay? And now we're at a point where we have a fraction divided by a fraction. So you know what to do. You take this, you flip it, and you multiply. All right, and then, hey, I got them both that time, okay? They cancel, and there's just a 1 up top and an x minus 1 on the bottom, and that is it. There we go. Okay, try another one. Copy this down. Pause it. All right, you can tell. I mean, it looks like we're going to have to piddle with both of these this time, right? I mean, the, neither one of these looks easier than the other one is. So, again, I would just go ahead and go, okay, that's over a 1, and then that's over a 1. Now we're going to mess with both of these. Okay, let's do the numerator first, just for the heck of it. Okay, so this is going to have to be B, right? The common denominator between b and 1 is just b. So I'm just going to multiply it by b, multiply it by b. So the numerator, I have a plus b over b. I had a big division sign there. I got a big fraction. And this is the same thing, right? This is going to be a b as well. So multiply by b and multiply by b. All right, so at the bottom here, I have x plus 4b all over b. All right? And now we're set up, right? Now we have a fraction divided by a fraction. You know what to do on those. Turn this thing upside down. B's on top now. X plus 4B is on bottom. Now here's our problem. And now you tell me what's the next step I need to do. Yeah, okay. We're going to cancel, right? There we go. And all we have at the top is A plus B. All we have at the bottom is X plus 4B. And that is it. There we go. Okay, all right. This is where it gets kind of weird, so hang with me on this one, all right? Copy this one down. Copy this one down, and we'll look at it together, okay? Okay, this is, again, man, this looks complicated, right? You look, you never thought by this, you know, you'd ever be doing something like this when you started Algebra 1. Oh my gosh, there's X's, there's A's, there's fractions, there's exponents, there's negative exponents, there's, uh, you know, it's, it's horrible, all this stuff together. But again, you're going to treat this just like you would an arithmetic problem and a fraction you would mess with. And all of a sudden, uh, excuse me, also we know that this can be rewritten. Don't forget that. Okay? And this can be rewritten. Don't forget that. And this can be 
rewritten. Don't forget that. Okay, yeah. Okay. You know how to write a to the negative one, right? Mm -hmm. The way you write a to the negative one is you go, oh, well, that's one over a to the positive one. You don't have to write the one there. All right. So, in other words, you're going to go. This we're going to treat this as one big thing right here. Okay. So we'll have to we'll have we'll leave the x here in the numerator. We're not going to mess with this right now. We'll mess with this big numerator. We're going to leave this x the way it is, and we're going to call this not a to the negative one power, but we'll move this down. In other words, the a to the negative one power was here. We're going to go down here. It turns into a to the positive one. You don't even have to write the positive one if you don't want to. All right. Now, if you know that, you know what's going to happen with this one too, right? This is b to the negative 1 times y. If you want to visualize it like this, you can go, okay, b to the negative 1 times y. That's what you've got here, okay? If you go, ah, I want to get rid of these negative exponents, fine. Treat this like it goes down there, it turns into a b, and that goes away. So what you have here is a y up top and a b on the bottom. In other words, this is your big numerator with both of those terms. That's the nice, simple, clean way to do that. And I'm sure, I'm going to go ahead and there's my big division sign there, x to the negative 1 by definition is what? If you just want to visualize this separately, you pull this out and you go, okay, that is the same thing as 1 over x to the positive 1. Okay, so you can just write that. That's going to be 1 over x to the positive 1. There we go. Okay, obviously we're not done. Let's go ahead and figure it out. Okay, let's go add these together first because it looks like the, the denominator looks like it's in pretty good shape the way it is. We need to piddle around with this one. Okay, well, we've got to find a common denominator. And the common denominator of a and b is ab, right? Okay, well, this needs to be divided or multiplied by b, so this is as well, right? So this needs to be multiplied by a, and that is as well. Okay, so now we have a new problem. We got xb plus ay. And they're both over AB. And we're going to divide by 1 over X, just like it is right here. Now again, like any other fraction, if you divide a fraction by a fraction, that means you flip that fraction to X over 1 this time, and you multiply. And then you're done. Okay. Well, the bottom part's easy. That's just going to be AB times 1, and that'll just be AB, right? Okay. Now this is where it gets interesting. You want to go ahead and take the x and multiply it by first this, and then by that. So we have x times xb. That'll be x to the first times x to the first is x to the second b. Done. And then x times ay plus xay. You just leave it. You're done. And there you go. And just, again, you know how to do this. It looks very complicated, but all you need to do is just treat this as if it's this. a to the negative 1 times x. Pretend like nothing else exists, and it's just its own fraction. But you would go, okay, well, I know what to do with a negative exponent. It goes to the other side of the fraction, and it turns into its own, you know, a, you, turn, you flip the sign of the uh, exponent value. And it goes like that. So you have x over a. There you go. And you do the same thing to this one. If you want to break these up into little manageable chunks, go ahead and do that. It makes it easier that way. Okay. All right. Hit the pause button and try a. See what you get. All right. Well, this looks pretty easy. This is going to be 1 plus c over w divided by 1 over c. All right. And we know what to do with fractions. You take this, you flip it, and you multiply. That'll be c over 1. All right? Well, you distribute that. You know, you know, if you want to put times c, you want to put this like right here and do it like this way, you can do it if you want to. It makes it easier. So c times 1 is c, and then c times c is c squared, and then w times 1 is w. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Okay? Pause it and try b. Okay, well, the top is a mess. The bottom is easier. Well, let's work with the top at first. Let's go ahead and put this over a 1. All right, so we have 5 over 1. Well, we know that the common denominator is going to be m, so I'm going to multiply by m here and multiply by m there. And now we have 1 plus 5m on top. 
and then we have just a regular old m on the bottom. Okay, now we're done with this part right there. Okay, well, since these both have the same denominator, you can just go ahead and go, okay, I'll just write it as one fraction. 2 minus x over m. Okay. And again, we know what to do with, you know, dividing fractions. You just flip it and you multiply. So that's m over 2 minus x. And then if you notice, the m's cancel out. We got it. So our whole answer is 1 plus 5m over 2 minus x. And that's it. All right. Okay, pause it and try C. <laughs> okay, this is one of those nasty ones, right? Okay. Well, again, you know what? Let's, let's pull this out one at a time and deal with Forget all this stuff at all. Totally forget it. Just deal with this part right here. All right? So if we got ax to the negative 1, you can just imagine that as a fraction over 1, right? Okay. The only thing we need to piddle with is moving this down. All right? So this goes down here and turns into 1 times, which will just, you don't need to worry about 1 times, it's going to be the same thing, 1 times x to the positive 1. And then we have to write the, the exponent. So in other words, this is this now. This is a over x, right? Okay, that in green, circled in green, is the same thing as a over x, okay? Now, we can do it the long way if you want to, but since that in green, ax to the negative 1 power is a over x, you tell me how to write b times y to the negative 1 power. How would you just write it, just like that? You go b over y, right? Okay, that's it, yeah. And again, you can, if you wanted to take it out here and do it and go b to the y over 1, I'm going to take this and move it down, that's fine, totally fine, don't worry about it. Okay. Now the same thing here. Look at this x to the negative 1. How are you going to write that as a fraction? Okay. It's already a fraction, x to the negative 1 over 1. We're going to go down there. That's an x. And a 1 and 1 over x, right? Okay. So in other words, this is the bottom of our fraction now. We had this part, we had that part, we have this part. Okay. Let's go ahead and make the top fraction into one fraction instead of two by finding a common denominator. It's going to be xy, right? So I multiply by y, multiply by y. This will have to multiply by x and then by x, right? So let's write all of this jazz as one fraction. So I got ay plus xb over xy. And now I'm dividing by 1 over x. Well, the heck with that. I'm multiplying by x over 1, right? Okay. And this is nifty or groovy as the kids are still saying these days. Look at that x there and that x down there. That's being multiplied, so that's okay to get it out of there. So that can go away and so can that. So all we have left on top is ay plus xb. All we have on bottom is y. Yoink, there we go, that's it, okay. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.